Africa has a long history of being a consumer when it comes to automobiles with Africa basically becoming a dump for used automobiles from abroad. The majority of vehicles purchased and used by Africans are imported, and the bulk are secondhand, with large import duties that typically double the price, making them more expensive than new cars sold abroad. However, the African automobile industry is responding by improving its craft in car manufacturing with promising sustainable made in Africa car models, providing competition in local markets across Africa for the Germans, Japanese, British, American, and Chinese leaders in vehicle manufacturing. Welcome to Thinkrich Media, the community which brings to you entrepreneurial, business, and personal development content to inform, motivate, and inspire you. We also want to introduce you to our special African development playlist because we strongly believe entrepreneurship, rather than global pity, is the key to Africa's growth and development. So if you're African and you aren't subscribed to our community, you're missing out. Number 10. IMM Tunisia The industry's Mechanics Magrubines SA, IMM, is a Tunisian automobile manufacturer with headquarters in Cairo. The company is a joint venture between General Motors Company, 20%, Isuzu Motors Limited, 10%, and General Motors du Tunisie SA, a locomotive manufacturer, 70%. General Motors du Tunisie, a locomotive manufacturer, provides the company's personnel. The company began operations in 1982 and closed for the first time in 1988, before reopening in 1991. Since then, the company has established subsidiaries in Carthage, Tunis, and also in Oud Smar, Algeria, to distribute its vehicles. It was announced in January 2008 that the Algerian subsidiary would be converted to vehicle assembly. The new IMM plant will be capable of producing up to 25,000 units per year. The IMM in Cairo produces up to 4,000 units per year. The vehicles will be sold in Gibraltar, Morocco, Mauritania, and Libya, in addition to the two local markets. The IMM is in charge of supplying the Maghreb regions and Arab Maghreb Union's markets. During the 2011 Libyan Civil War, the IMM's vehicles received special attention when Gaddafi's henchmen used them to attack their own cities in order to spread fear and terror. Apart from Wallace Gar, the IMM is currently Tunisia's only car manufacturer. Number 9 2009 Serok El Jamahiriya Libyan Rocket the prototype, dubbed the Libyan Rocket, is described as an elegant sedan 17 feet long and more than 6 feet wide, powered by a 3-liter V6 gasoline engine. The car has a fairly standard body, but the front and rear have been designed to resemble the fore and aft of a rocket. The car can travel hundreds of miles on a flat tire, which could come in handy while driving through the vast Libyan desert. Other safety features include a device that cuts off the fuel supply to prevent a fire in the event of an accident. According to the BBC and Fox News, it also has airbags, an unspecified electronic defense system, and a collapsible bumper. According to the BBC, construction of a factory to produce the car was to have begun in October 2009 in Tripoli. The project was funded by the Libyan Arab Domestic Investment Company, and the car was unveiled in Tripoli at the end of an African Union summit. The actual prototype was built using Libyan materials such as marble, leather, and fabric by Tesco TSSPA, an automotive design firm based in Turin, Italy, and is said to have cost up to $2.85 million. Number 8. Nissan Cars Limited Birkin Cars Limited is a South African car manufacturer founded by automotive enthusiast John Watson. The S3 Roadster is the company's specialty. Since 1988, the company has produced over 8,000 S3s. Because John was a fan of the classic Lotus 7, the S3 bears a resemblance to the original Lotus. Birkin has grown several times since the 1980s, but its headquarters remain in KwaZulu Natal near Durban. Automobiles are currently sold through dealers all over the world, including the United States, Japan, and Europe. The car can be purchased as a turnkey vehicle 
or as a DIY kit that the owner can complete. Several inline four-cylinder engines, such as the Ford Zetic and Toyota 4AG, can be used in the vehicle. Further developments to the car include using an independent rear suspension, as opposed to the previously used live axle. As of July 2013, Birkin has added a wide-body version. This car is approximately four wider and three longer. Number 7. Kira Motors Corporation, Uganda Kira Motors Corporation's KMC interests differ from those of other African automobile companies. The Ugandan automaker is interested in developing a hybrid electronic vehicle. The Kira EV, Africa's first mass-produced electric vehicle, was built in 2011 by engineering students from the University of Makarur who took part in the Vehicle Design Summit founded by MIT students in 2006. Kira Motors Corporation was established in 2014 as a joint venture between the Ugandan government and Makarur University. In its line of cars, KMC has Kayla Solar Bus, which runs on lithium-ion batteries that power the electric motor, plus a two-speed pneumatic shift transmission, Kira EV POC, which has a battery bank capacity of 40 amp-hours and 207 volts, and Kira EV Smack, which is the first electric hybrid vehicle designed and built in Africa. The car is cost-effective, and it can be powered by both diesel and electricity. Number 6. Wallace Gar Tunisia 2021 The company was founded by two brothers, Omar and Zaid Giga, with the goal of making vehicles that are sporty, colorful, off-road, and environmentally friendly, as well as participating in international off-road motorsport. The Wallace Gar is made in La Marsa, Tunisia, and is a small but powerful vehicle. Founded in 2006, the company is known for building of affordable, reliable, and powerful 4x4s, despite the size of its vehicles, which are similar to Suzuki and Skoda. According to a report from 2014, the company sells over 600 units a year, mainly in Africa and the Middle East. Wallace Gar works with Peugeot, a French automaker, and uses a PSA 1.4-liter petrol engine in their vehicles. The manufacturer Wallace Gar's first model, the Wallace Izzy's, was assembled in so-called CKD, assembly on October 19, 2008. The Tunisian design firm HH Design created the Izzy's, which is available without doors or with two open-door mini SUV in the style of the Italian Laval SP, and the Swiss Divolino. Wallace Gar announced in 2014 that the Wallace Izzy's was being phased out in preparation for the release of a new model, the Wallace Iris. Wallace Gar began selling Wallace Iris in March 2017 at a price of 35,900 Tunisian dinar, nearly 12,600 euros. Number 5. Mobius Motors, Kenya 2021. Founded in Kenyan in 2011 by Joel Jackson, the first-generation Mobius Ron 2 was launched in 2015, with the next generation released in 2019. Mobius uses the slogan, Designed for Africa, Built in Africa. Motors released their first batch of low-cost vehicles at the end of 2017. The multi-purpose vehicle, which costs around $10,000, was designed for the African mass market. Mobius Motors are based on the common road terrain and transport usage in Africa. Mobius Motors sites are set not only on Kenya, but on any country with poor road conditions. Car companies are still focused on the BRIC, Brazil, Russia, India, and China economies. Africa is an overlooked market in general, and there is an opportunity to do something different Jackson tells CNN. To produce efficient and low-cost products, the company employs simplified design concept vehicles that can compete with second-hand vehicles that dominate the East African automotive market. The Kenyan company that took up the audacious task of producing low-cost vehicles for Africa's off-road and rough terrain increased production of a newer, more advanced model in 2018 
after an optimistic reception of its Pioneer model. Number 4. Nord Automobile Nigeria 2021 Nord Automobiles is a Nigerian automobile manufacturer based in Lagos, Nigeria, founded by Aji Alawatobai in 2017. Their company was founded in response to the need for a world-class Nigerian automobile brand. Nord's outstanding model, the Nord Tank, will compete with commercially successful trucks like the Toyota Hilux, Mitsubishi L200 Ford Ranger, Leopard CT7, and Inasen IVM Carrier 4X4 pickup trucks. Among their Nigerian branded vehicles are the Nord Max, Flit Bus, Aso Truck, Lasky Big Bus, Q3 Sedan, Q5 Sub, Nord Yarn, Ben Sub, and Urban Sedan. Number 3. Laraki Manufacturing Morocco 2021. Mohamed Laraki, a Moroccan businessman and car designer, founded the Laraki Automobile Company in 1999. The Casablanca-based automaker began by building yachts and later expanded into the production of high-end supercars. It produced its first car, the Laraki Fulgura, in 2002. The car is equipped with a Mercedes. The next car was Borac, which was followed by Epitome in 2013, and the company has continued to grow and evolve since then. The Laraki Epitome is the ideal blend of luxury and speed. It has a V8 engine with 1,100 horsepower RPM and a max speed of 175 miles per hour. Laraki Epitome never made it to mass production because, unlike large-scale manufacturers, Laraki builds concept-based cars. As a result, each customer's car at Laraki is unique. Laraki cars were ranked as some of the most expensive in the world in 2015, with prices exceeding $2 million. Laraki is now the most expensive car made in Africa as a result of this policy. Number 2. Kantanka Motors Ghana 2021 Kantanka Cars is a Ghanaian automobile firm founded in 1994 by Dr. Ng, Quadwo Safo Kantanka. The Kantanka is perfectly adapted to Ghanaian conditions. This is a feature that distinguishes it from Chinese and Japanese vehicles. The Kantanka is undoubtedly one of Africa's most promising vehicles. Kantanka produces saloons as well as four-wheel drives. The NQNMD and Kantanka Apasuel are two SUV produced by the company. Another option is the Kantanta Anantefuo 4X4 pickup. At the moment, some Africans own this vehicle that was proudly manufactured in Ghana. Kantanka showrooms sell the vehicles in a variety of colors and models. The company had also declared that it will start manufacturing electric cars by the end of 2020. Despite the fact that the company has yet to publicly unveil the vehicle, images and videos of its assembly have flooded social media, with some even putting a price tag of between 40,000 Ghanaian seeds and 4 to 5,000 Ghanaian seeds on it. However, the CEO of Kentanka Group of Companies, Quadwo Safar JNR, refuted the price on social media in a tweet. He explained that their most recent vehicle, the Kentanka Amonima EV, is not for sale at 4 to 5,000 Ghanaian seeds as published on social media. Number 1. Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Nigeria 2021. Innocent Chakuma, a Nigerian entrepreneur, is the founder and developer of the Innocent Vehicle Manufacturing Company in Nigeria. Innocen was the first made-in-Africa automobile brand and is now one of the continent's largest car manufacturers, having sold over 10,000 vehicles from its Ennui plant to customers, including the Nigerian government since its foundation. According to Innocen Vehicle Manufacturing, we are not second-class citizens who should only drive used vehicles, which is entirely correct. Innocen vehicles are already on the market and in use in Nigeria.
Inasen has released at least 500 Nigerian-made cars priced between 1.5 Naira and 4 million Naira. It is able to attract the patronage of the Nigerian government because it produces a wide range of automobiles. Its current lineup includes pickup trucks like the Inasen IVM Granite, SUV like the Inasen G20, sedans like the Inasen Fox and Umu, and buses like the Inasen Umu, Inasen 5000, and 6540. The Ivan G80, a spoof of the famous Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon, has obtained so much attention in recent times. The car's low price, three-year warranty on gears, axles, and engines, comfort, and ability to meet the needs of the average car user in Nigeria are just a few of the features that distinguish it. Africans are entering the automobile industry, positioning themselves to compete with more established car brands. To succeed, they must do a little more for their demographic and be a little better than their competitors. Cars made in Africa and by Africans are changing the narrative about Africa's ability to produce state-of-the-art machinery. The end products is evidence of Africa's automotive industry, positioning itself to compete with seasoned and established foreign brands. Thank you for watching. If there are any tips you think should be on this list but is not, leave a comment let us know. Help our channel grow. We hope this video has been helpful to you. Support us by liking the video, subscribing, and turning on your notifications.